Hi hey everybody, welcome back to the Aaron Space. My name's Aaron, this is my space of the internet. Thank you so much for clicking. You find us down here today, gentle viewers, at a park you may know and well called Disneyland. It's the land of the Diz. I am decked out. I've got a Disney hoodie, I've got a Disney hat. And what I'm about to tell you, I'm not sure if you're ready for it because it still is pretty early in November, but Christmas has arrived. It's November 15th. It's the first official day of Christmas at the Disneyland parks here in Anaheim, California, and she everywhere. Christmas be, Christmas be Christmassy. So we're down here, it's the very first day. So along with it being the first day of Christmas, it's also the official opening day of the Tiana's ride. Now, we were lucky enough to ride that through Magic Key Pass Holder Previews. So I don't know if we're gonna get on it today, but I have footage of it, I'll drop it in, but we're gonna check out the hubbub around that. So yeah, first day of Christmas, opening of Tiana's, first day of Festival of Holidays across the street at DCA. There's just a lot happening. So I wanted to come down and check it all out. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here. If you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs diddy up diddy. Helps channel grow. A fly just landed on me. That fly knows what's up. He's giving it a thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let's go see Christmas, Santiana. We're not gonna do Festival of Holidays today. That's gonna be a future installment of the air and space, but I'm really excited. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. Let's go walk around, get our Christmas fix, check out Tiana, and have a great day. <gasps> oh, oh my God, he's got his Christmas bells on, y'all. He's got his Christmas bells on. Happy holidays. Oh my God. The Kinetic energy, energy. I'm tired, I need a coffee. I said energy, because I'm from Boston. But the kinetic energy down here this morning is like palpable. The characters are out in their holiday finest. All of the Main Street transportation is out and running. The Christmas decorations are here. The Christmas music is playing. The Christmas tree is out. Everybody is ready for this day. Everybody is, everybody. Everybody is ready for this day. Everybody. We have taken a detour from the land of Christmas. We've gone off planet for a Ronto wrap for breakfast. That was like a rhyme. I made a poem and I didn't even, I mean, a poet and I didn't even know it. But yeah. We're gonna take, take five on the Christmas, have breakfast, regroup, and then we're gonna go check out Tiana, and then we're gonna circle back, look at more Christmas, and check out the merch. So I blew right past the merch, except for my shirt I bought. <laughs> Let me fix this. Blew right past the merch, except for this jumper. <laughs> I had to get my holiday wear on. I had a very plain gray, it's still Disney, but very plain and gray sweatshirt. So I stopped to pick this guy up. I love it. It's swooshy, it's, it's, it's like, you can feel it. It says Disneyland on the arm. This is gonna be my official 2024 holiday jumper. If you're watching in England, if you're watching in America, holiday sweatshirt, and I love it. But now I'm gonna eat my Ronto wrap and then go check out Tiana and then go check out Christmas stuff. Woo, Main Street USA was a, that was, it was, it was happening. It was, it was, it was happening. A dude about two. Thank you for breakfast, it was delicious as always. Our next step up is to check out the Tiana area. But yeah, I do love Batu. And that Ronto wrap, breakfast Ronto wrap, it's popping. It's good. It gets the Aaron, Sp Aaron Space chef's kiss. This guy's popping now too. He's just talking. Everybody's just, everybody's just, everybody's just out here having a Christmas, a Christmas day. <laughs> oh, you know what that means for Batu. Life day, life day will coming, be coming up soon enough. If you know, you know, comment down below. Do you celebrate Life Day? I sure do. Okay, let's go find Tiana. Oh my God, I always forget how great the soundscape is walking around Batu. It's like, oh, sorry, I also reshow my jumper. But yeah, when you're walking in and out of Batu, the sound design is insane. Like it, you sound like you're walking on and off another planet. Don't sleep on that. If you're, if you're lucky enough to go to Batu, either east or west, make sure that you're paying attention to the sound because it's amazing and I believe John Williams designed it. So anyway, also there's a train going over my head right now. One. And two, there's a hole in my shoe, guys. There's water getting into my shoe. My sock is now damp and moist. So we have a lot of big travels coming up. I'm gonna have to get a new pair of Skechers 
ASAP because we can't be having gravel and water coming into my socks and shoes, especially with the trips we have lined up. Okay, so this is cool. So this exit of Batu right here is going to actually loop us directly to Tiana's and by the revamped Hungry Bear barbecue place. So, well placed, well placed. Gonna take our moment of zen while we're crossing out of Batu back into the Disneyland proper park by the rivers of America. Oh, it's so peaceful. It's so relaxing. They're never gonna cement ours in. Again, if you know, you know. <laughs> there's the spires of Batu, and there's the rivers of America. I love this little path. And there's the Hungry Bear. Redone as a barbecue restaurant now. Disney has a thing for barbecue. They have a lot, a lot, a lot of barbecue restaurants. So, it's not my favorite genre of food. I mean, I don't hate it, but again, not my fave. But here, let's get this Zen moment. These people canoeing for their life. They're paddling for their life. <laughs> Some ducks out on the, on the river. Ah, moment of Zen, I love it. We have arrived. We're back at Tiana's. Hey girl, hey. I, I think my shoes may be so moist and damp from when I rode you a couple weeks ago. <laughs> those drops, those drops don't be playing. Um, but yeah, there she is. And now all the shops are open, I think. And here's the yummy Country Bear. Hungry Bear, I'm sorry. A Country Bear ride used to be over here, so. Here's the barbecue, the barbecue jamboree. Let's see, are the stores open? Okay. Oh yeah, Ray's Beret. Let's go into Ray's Berets, yeah, why not? Everybody's out here ready for the virtual queue drops. So we didn't get the one at seven. There's gonna be another one at noon and another one at four. But I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the noon or the four because I also have to take my cat to the vet this afternoon. And my cat is a wild beast and in order to get him to the vet, I have to drug him. So his appointment's at six, which means I have to drug him at four which means I have to leave here at like 1.30 or 2, because it's Friday in LA, and it could in fact take two hours to get home. So we're just gonna see as much as we can see between now and 1.30, and then we'll be back. Gentle viewer, have no concerns or fears, we shall be returning many, many, many times. But there's definitely an energy and a buzz down here that wasn't here during the pass holder and employee preview, so it's cool. There's people with earpieces and ties, suits and ties, that did not exist last time. <laughs> All right, let's go in the stop, shop store. I can mine store and shop. The shop. Let's go in. Oh my god, not the ceiling decorations. <laughs> Selling ears and stuff and raised berets. But also, the way they did the ceiling is so cute. <gasps> oh, and look, there's our guy. He's our favorite. Hi, pal. Hey, pal, hey. Oh, oh no. Jar, sweet jar. <laughs> That's darn cute, y'all. Look at his little house. There's a bed and a little chair for him to sit in. Very cool. With some hats for sale. But honestly, the, the store, the decorations up top. Make sure you come in here and look up top. The merch looks standard, but the decoration is popping. Oh, including they have a little interactive bayou thing. Oh, look, there it goes. Cool. There he goes. Down on the bayou. And also t shirts. Okay. Very cute. Raised berets. Very cute indeed. Oh yeah, they got everybody out. The troops are the troops are lined up and ready to go. I don't think it's officially open yet. I don't know what time the first drop is going to happen, but everybody here is ready to go. Because this is the queue. This is the outdoor portion of the queue that we waited in when we rode it a couple weeks ago. It's darn toot and cute. And the train goes right over it and then Winnie the Pooh is right next to it. This whole little area corner is just so darn cute now. Very good. Hidden Mickey. Hidden Mickey. We found it. It's probably more than one, but that's on the outside. Okay. Continue down past the queue area. Virtual queues. Looks like they're going to have virtual queues and lightning lanes. So that's going to be good. More cute outdoorsy stuff here. Little murals. 
Guys, I stinking love this ride. I'm so glad they rethemed it. The animatronics were popping the day I rode it. It was a good vibe, good energy, fun music. It is solid. They got the extended queue set up down here around the corner too. We did not need this portion of the queue for preview, preview ride throughs, but they're probably planning ahead. This ride is gonna be super popular for a very long time, I would imagine. Got Winnie the Pooh's spot right across the street for his meet and greets. And this back here, this building, I do believe is where they did have the original Country Bear Jamboree back in the day. Now, I never got to experience that in Disneyland. However, growing up on the East Coast, I experienced it a lot in Disney World. And in fact, we're gonna be in Disney World in a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll try to go to the refurbed Country Bear Jamboree there. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to Florida, y'all. Heard it here first. Oh, there goes the train. Cool. We got his store all set up. The Critter Club. The Critter Club is open for business. It's got a line. We're waiting to get in. People want their merch. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm still admiring the outside. Let's go check out her car up, front, up close. Ooh, I love it. That is neat. It reminds me of the uh, Knott's Berry farm truck. Oh, here's the sign too where you can measure your kiddos to see if they're gonna be able to, to ride. And also it's warning you you're gonna get wet. You are so gonna get wet. <laughs> Make no mistake, this ride is gonna soak, soak you to your bones. At least when I was riding it, it did. People were putting ponchos on. Never ever lose sight of what's really important. Opening day attractions. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Friends and family. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Well, let's see if the Critter Club, we can get in there. But look at it. opening day excitement. Opening day excitement abounds. I love it. We made it into the store. Oh, look at these ears. <laughs> oh my God, why are they the cutest thing ever? I also love this shirt. Let's get to the party. There's my boy, oh and it says 2024. For the opening of the ride, I like that, that's neat. Diorama. Socks. Yeah, this welcome to the party one though. That's pretty dope. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right, the store is also really cute. Okay, let's go. Innards. Oh, I love this teal hoodie. And shirt underneath, matching. Oh my goodness. They have a giant Lewis plushie. I have a version of this for an Ewok and also Figment. And they are so squishy. Oh, he's really cute. He's really, really cute. <gasps> Lounge fly backpack. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It's those ears again. Oh. The firefly. Look at him. He's all lit up. How cute. So he's on his little perch here. I guess you could turn him on and off. Oh, yeah, look, he charges up. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. Oh, sweatshirt. Tiana's by. Oh, no. Spirit jersey. Tiana's by you. Another bag. More plushies. Oh, I just noticed he has a little flower in his hair. You get to the party. And they all say 2024, because it's the year that the ride is opening. The ceiling is just like the other store, the beret store, the hat store. The ceiling is also so cutely decorated. I love it. The ride, it's past 11 and the ride hasn't been going yet, but I think they just made an announcement that it is going. This is not the ride, this is the pirate ship. I just really like the pirate ship. But I think they just opened it. So if you were lucky enough to get a virtual queue at 7 a.m. this morning, I think they're calling to you now. Or maybe not. Are people getting in line? It's anticipation time. Oh, it is a really pretty ride. Nature moment. We have a nature moment here. 
I love a natural nature moment. Look at that duck. He doesn't care that it's Tiana's first day, start of the holidays, festive time of year. He's just like, look at me. I'm just ducking around. I'm ducking around in this man-made little river thing. So update on Tiana's ride. It's 1120 and I do believe the virtual queue is still not open for business. Open for business. So the, dr the drop to get the virtual queue was at 7 a.m. and now it's 1120. The next drop comes for to get a virtual queue pass is at noon. But I don't think it's I don't think anyone's ridden it yet. So we're not sure. It's opening day. You got to expect this. I had zero expectation of riding this ride today. If I'm going to be totally honest with you, when I didn't get the 7 a.m. drop, I was like, because I knew I had my cat stuff going on this afternoon. So I was like, I just want to be there. The energy has been cool. The merch has been neat. Everybody has their like Tiana merch on ready to go. So I hope that people that had planned like to really, uh oh, Rattler, there's a Rattler coming through. I hope people that really had their expectations high to ride this today, I hope they're able to, but it's probably going to be a while because it's 11.20 and I don't think one person is ridden yet. Opening day. Like I said, I had no plan to and I got to ride it already. So I was just down here for the vibes and the vibes have been immaculate in my opinion. But I'm also really easy to please with vibes. So I think we're going to mosey on out of this little Tiana area. So I want to go back up to Main Street. I do want to look at some of the Christmas merch a little bit closer. Maybe ride a ride or two if we can. And then honestly hit the road. So yeah, let's go do that. Was there anything else? Yeah, because the festival of holidays. Oh, my boat. I love her. There she goes. Oh, I do love that boat. Maybe ride a ride or two, but then we're going to hit the road. And we're Seasons Pass holders, so we'll be back down here a lot. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I do love this ride, and I'm excited to get on again. I just don't think it's going to be today, and that's okay. Man, we had a virtual coup for this guy, too. This guy being the Haunted Mansion. And that's down, too. I think they just, people might have got stuck on it or something. People are coming out, but I don't know if we're going to make it on that either. We do have a virtual queue for this. If it reopens and circles back around to us. We shall see. Yeah, this may just be a day of vibing because the Haunted Mansion virtual queue, the Haunted Mansion is down, so the virtual queue has paused and they have not gotten, as far as I can tell, anyone on to Tiana's yet. So all the cast members, though, are so sweet and so nice and answering everyone's questions and just being really awesome as they always are but this little area back here she jam-packed she clogged up because that's down tiana's is just sending empty boats still and you know sometimes that happens again we were coming down for vibes so i'm all good i could just honestly stand here and look at this view all day does that make me crazy comment down below could you just come here and chill and like stare at this view all day because I could. What if I just set up a live stream and it was just this <laughs> and I wasn't speaking. <laughs> it was just ambiance. The ambiance of it all. Look at that. I love an ambiance. What a treat. Coco's meeting people. We love Coco. Right? That's Coco? I think it is. Miguel? Yeah. Right? That's Coco. Miguel Coco. <laughs> These are cute. Is this for sale? Oh yeah, the shop's in plastic, so it's for sale. <gasps> it's measuring cups and bowls and cookie cutters. Oh, there's old timey Disney Christmas playing up here. Oh, this is my childhood right here, y'all. 80s and 90s for life. <laughs> 80s and 90s for life. What's this? Making Christmas ma magical musical figurine. Is it the monorail? Oh my god, I love it. Oh, Frontierland. She's always done up real nice at the holidays. She has the Halloween tree for Halloween season. And then for the holidays, She's got the garland, red ribbons, twinkle lights. I love Frontierland. Also, as an update, looks like Tiana's is running. So we're gonna double back and see if we can see some people coming down the drop. Why not? We are actually also so close to getting this new 
shop right next to the Haunted Mansion, in between the Haunted Mansion and Tiana's open soon. I shall be returning once more with haunting treasures and wonderful galore. <gasps> Madame Leota! This is gonna be fun! The scaffolding's all down, so this is gonna be like almost ready to go. Cool. Your girl loves anything new. And speaking of new, it's happening. I hear screams. Look at that water fixture. Look at that shot. This is beautiful. What a beautiful ride. It's happening though. They're calling the virtual queues. People are getting on the new ride. Everyone's screaming their head off. I was going to drop in the footage of when I wrote it earlier, but you know what? Scratch that, flip it down and reverse it. It's going in. Meow. Oh, cool. She is. <laughs> Hi, Tiana. Hey, y'all. Hi. Thanks for helping me look for me since you for our party tonight. No problem. Lewis. We're on our way.
I hope you enjoyed that footage, gentle viewer, of when I rode the new Tiana ride. Here comes the people! That drop is legit! And the animatronics are awesome. And everything's going! How exciting! It's a great day! Here they come! Yeah! <laughs> all right, Tiana, all right. Get it, girl. Okay, we're back in the shops, checking out the holiday merch and foods. Cutie patootie, double cutie, triple cutie. Look at that little cake pop, snowman man. All of the holiday treats are out. Ooh, this is, I can't speak on this one. The gingerbread Rice Krispie treat is really good. Honestly, all the Rice Krispie treats are really good. But this little snowman's the cutest. Starting off with a very holiday, holidayized bag, very sparkly. Sparkly ears. I've seen a lot of people wearing this spirit jersey around. Oh, cards. Letters to Santa, very cute. Ooh, cardigan, another bag, bedazzled. Ooh, this is cute. Spirit jersey, I like the red one. That's not spirit jersey. It's got the bling bling going on, bedazzled bling. Saw these down here last time. These little snowmen headband ears. These are adorable. <laughs> Ooh, these are cute too. These are not as cute. I like anything plushy. I'm a sucker for the plush. Yeah, I like those and I like those, but I'm not an ear girl, I'm a hat girl. If you've watched any of my videos, you know, your girl is not an ear girl, but she is a hat girl. All right, and here is the main hall. Santa's little helpers, snowman backpack. Ooh, velvety, velvety spirit jerseys. This is for your child and then you can match. <laughs> I don't know about the velvet. That's just not my style. Sparkly ears, peppermint ornaments. Ooh, I do like that ornament. It's a good one. For $80, you can own a pair of Christmas Crocs. Christmas Crocs. What's this? An ornament? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Sparkly sweatshirt. I have a version of this. Oh, but mine's much better. It was in green last year, and it was mega sparkly. You'll see it. I'll bust it out throughout the season. Oh, making Christmas fright. Very cute. There's my sweatshirt. I own that. I'm wearing it right now, and I love it. It was a good solid purchase. Ooh, flannel. Pajamas. Oh, I like these. We saw some really cute wicked pajamas up at Universal the other day and now we're seeing some cute Disney ones flannel <gasps> oh, mini stocking it's filled with candies very good very very good approved approved by all Got some stockings mystery gift if anyone knows what this is let me know below very good I like the stockings baby crocs <gasps> this hat is from last year because I know I own it a, I'm gonna dig out all my Christmas clothes soon because I own this hat. I'm gonna wear it the next time I come down here. <gasps> Little zip up hoodie. The merriest place on earth. Anything on the back? <gasps> yes, what's in the back? Oh, it's the gang. That's cute. Like it. Some sweatpants. Regular Disneyland. Oh, Santa hat with ears. Ah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great if you come down here on Christmas Day, you can wear your Santa hat with ears. Guess just like at Halloween, they're pushing Stitch really hard. I don't know why. Why? Why are you everywhere? Why? Coco? Oh, and a cute mug. This looks like it's from the home collection. Joy. Oh, this is like from a Japan, like a Japanese print shirt. It's the big print. Cute, but not for me. Oh. They're really pushing these guys hard. These little snowman earbands. You're gonna see them all over the place. 
Oh, it's decorated up here too. Love it. Oh, uh, matching shirts. My joy. Mini. My joy. Mickey. That's a bubble wand. All right, all right. I see you up there, bubble wand. Some flashy lights. If you want to be be decorated yourself, you can wear your lights. Okay, this takes the cake. It's an elf hat with Mickey ears. What? This is really good. It's very plain though, but that's cool. I like that. Not the Disneyland tote bag with Chip and Dale. And they're painting. He has a little art palette. Oh, that is great. I really like that tote bag. It's got my faves on it. Chip and Dale are my favorites, but I really like that bag. Chip and Dale Christmas tote, $25 with any merchandise purchase of $40 or more. All right, I mean, you know, the mouse has got to make his buck. The mouse needs the bucks. A nice plain white long sleeve lighter shirt. It's good. Very holiday sweatshirt hoodie. Oh, Mickey Mouse mug. Oh, I love it. This is great. Very cute. Oh, it's the hat, but it's it's ears. So it's like Mickey ears with a Santa hat. That's cute. I like it. Mini. The Mick. Real talk, their Halloween outfits are way cuter than their Christmas outfits. I'm just saying. More P PJs. Oh, <laughs> onesie pajamas. God, gosh darn Stitch. Get out of here, Stitch. Get out of here. We don't want you. Why are you here? One more look at the ginormous and beautiful Disneyland Main Street Christmas tree. They took the pumpkin out, put a tree up. It's very good. It's very festive. Holidays are here, y'all. Holidays are here. Okay, as noted, Festival of Holidays is starting at DCA. It's one of my favorite festivals that they have here. However, we're not going to be going into it today because, as previously mentioned, I need to go home and drug my cat to bring him to the vet. <laughs> so I'm going to take a look at my calendar, figure it out, when we can come back and hit up Festival of Holidays, get some snacks and treats. Just have a great old time. I love a festival. So drop a pin in it, subscribe to the channel. We shall be returning. You will be mine. All your snacks, too. <laughs> and so, gentle viewers, just like that, our day here comes to an end. I appreciate you watching this video. If you watched all the way to the end, drop me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Just say, I don't know. Say that. I don't know. <laughs> we not sure. I don't know. <laughs> but thanks for watching if you did make it all the way through. I had a great time. We checked out Tiana's. We got to see the start of the Christmas festival holiday celebrations down here at the parks, which is always a good time. They always go hard. They go all out. Had a yummy breakfast in Batu. It really was actually a great day. Half day. Because now I'm going to go home, drug Tazzy, Tizzle Tazzy butt. Um, I'll, if he looks super cute when he's drugged out, I'll put a little picture of him in right here. Get the good stuff? You're going to be nice to the, to the vet now? Is the good stuff kicking in? What do you think, Bubby? Bonus footage. This is my cat getting ready for the vet. <laughs> wow. He's a good boy. He's a very relaxed boy, too. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We have a ton of cool content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And as always, I will catch you in the Aaron space. Because I'm Aaron. This is my space on the internet. I don't know what else to tell you. Thanks for watching. Bye!